Hey, it's Joe from Train Out of Pain. Today we're going to be talking about blue light blocking glasses. We're going to be talking about the different lenses that are in blue light blocking glasses, and we're going to be talking about the different times of day you should be wearing them, as well as why you should be wearing them if you have a chronic illness, if you are suffering from chronic fatigue, if you have fibromyalgia or any other type of chronic illness, and especially if you can't sleep. So the first lenses that I'm going to be putting on here, these are my daytime computer lenses that I'll be wearing during the day if I'm on my computer. These are from a company named Blue Blocks. They're out of Australia and these are actually my prescription glasses. So these you can see a little blue tint on them and what these do is they reduce the amount of blue light from certain spectrums of blue that get into your eyes during the day. We still need blue light during the day so it doesn't block all the blue, but it also reduces glare from the computer screen. A lot of people who sit on the computer every day, they, comp they complain of eye strain, headaches, and they end up going to their optometrist and they get a similar lens put into their glasses so that they can have those same results. So during the day, these are what I'm wearing. The next lenses we're gonna be talking about are from Raw Optics. These are my daytime lenses, the yellow tint to them. And anytime I'm working inside of the gym underneath compact fluorescent bulbs or LEDs, any type of lighting that's got a high peak and the blue not offset by red, I'm gonna have these on my face. These block specific wavelengths of blue and they also offset that by bringing up some of the warmer colors obviously with the yellow tint so if you go outside underneath the sun's solar spectrum you're going to actually have that blue and red together the blue is always offset by red that's the biggest problem when we're indoors or on our computer screen so daytime usage not on my computer i'm wearing these from raw optics now studies have shown that if you want to protect your melatonin levels at night if you would like to sleep a little bit deeper as well then you should be wearing amber or red lens glasses in the evening after the sun goes down. So if I'm driving, the red lens glasses are actually a little too dark and make it unsafe for driving at night. But one of the biggest things that can throw off your circadian rhythm at night is headlights for today. They are super bright and that spectrum of light is actually closer to what high noon is or solar noon. So that actually gives our brain some signals that we need to be awake. So these are called UVEX glasses. Let's see if that'll come up on there. UVEX. You can find these at any Home Depot, Lowe's, or Amazon. And these are not the most stylish glasses unless you're looking to, you know, look like a triathlete or a baseball player, or if you look like you want to wear Oakley blades from the 90s. But these do absolutely work. They reduce the amount of blue significantly and they offset it with the warmer colors because at the end of the day, we have very little blue in our spectrum outside. It's actually really heavy in the red. And when we we're evolving, we didn't see blue except from star and moonlight, which is actually very little and doesn't really impact our circadian rhythm. So that's why we wear these when we're driving. Or if you just want to try them out, you know, see how you feel at night, these make you more sleepy. The amber lenses are perfectly fine for doing that as well. So I've been talking to people about blue light blocking glasses for a while and had a conversation yesterday with somebody who had mentioned that they bought some blue light blocking glasses for their family on Amazon and it came with a chart to show that they're working. If you want to protect your melatonin, if you want to sleep better, then you need to be wearing amber lenses at night or red lens glasses. Now these should definitely not be worn during the daytime. These are to be on your face after the sun goes down. Again, we don't see any spectrums of blue from this natural solar spectrum outside after the sun goes down. It's heavy in the red, and then once the sun is down, boom. This is going to actually reduce the amount of light that comes in your eyes, which is a huge thing. It's gonna protect melatonin and allow you to sleep a little bit better as well. So I have multiple pairs of red lens glasses. I like to try different ones. And I also have a prescription pair from blue blocks that I wear in the evenings. Um, I either wear these or from uh, my glasses from Raw Optics because these are the ones that are going to protect your circadian rhythm. They're gonna protect your melatonin levels because when it comes to melatonin, you actually have blue light receptors in the back of your retina called melanopsin. Now melanopsin is also all over your body. So this is an easy way to protect your circadian rhythm and protect your melatonin, which if you have a chronic illness, especially a chronic fatigue, uh, fibromyalgia, We've got some severe mitochondrial issues and melatonin actually is the one that is the hormone that controls cell death and cell regeneration within the mitochondria. So you need to be protecting your circadian rhythm and protecting your melatonin levels. If you are seeing the screen from your TV, from your tablet, from your laptop, or from your phone after the sun goes down, that is heavy in the blue. 
that is going to affect melanopsin. It's going to turn that on and it's going to affect your melatonin levels immediately. But these are again only to be worn at night. I wear these at night if I'm on the computer or if I'm reading. So I've got one more pair of red lens blue light blocking glasses and if you want to get into this and if you're not willing to make an investment in some of the more expensive pairs, which I do recommend you do, then you can actually go on to Amazon, you can go to Lowe's, you can go to Home Depot, and you can actually pick up a pair of these. These are the DeWalt laser enhancement glasses. These are red, they block all of the frequencies of green and blue, because it's not just the blue, it's also green after dark that will actually impact your circadian rhythm and impact your melatonin levels. So these are not the most stylish, but like I said, if you wanted just an introduction and see how these might affect your sleep, uh, this is a great way to get into it pretty cheaply. You can check Amazon frequently, the prices do go up and down, but this is ones again that you can wear once the sun goes down you put these on your face. The only caveat being if you need to wear prescription glasses, these don't really fit over them very well. There are some other manufacturers out there that do make some uh, blue light blocking glasses that do go over your prescription glasses. These glasses can help to pre protect your melatonin levels. They can also help to protect your circadian rhythm, uh, the red ones especially, because not only are they taking care of the blue and the green light that is detrimental, but they're actually reducing the amount of light that is getting into your eye because they are so dark. So give these a try, see how they affect your sleep especially, but just remember, even if you sleep okay, that these are protecting your melatonin levels after the sun goes down. Most of us get on our tablets and our laptops and see the TV or our cell phones after it goes down and our indoor lighting. All of these things have a peak in the blue spectrum. So you are definitely shifting your melatonin levels in a detrimental way if you're seeing these things after the sun goes down. As always, I encourage you to research this stuff yourself so that you can know this information better so that you can see that I'm not full of it because there's an abundant amount of research on this stuff. And if you guys have any questions, please send me a message. Hit me up with a comment down below. I'll be more than happy to talk about this stuff. See you soon.